attempt to defy odds of all sorts. All right. Praise for defying the odds can only be attributed to a being and a power that far exceeds our human capabilities. All right. All right. And I just came to notify someone that if you find yourself stressing over your limitations, All right. losing sleep over what seems to be limited access, Limited means, limited funds, limited faith, limited health, and limited strength. All right. Please remember that we serve a God who specializes yeah. in the unlimited. Yeah. Yeah. As a matter of fact, he's a God of no limits. Yeah. You need to understand and accept that God's ability overcomes and supersedes our disabilities. So you really need not worry when you find yourself facing what seems to be impossible. Because that presents for us a great opportunity to discover the ableness of God. God's ability in our lives tonight gives us the boldness to declare by faith the precious promises concerning the miraculous. This is why after having done all we can stand. Not because we're strong, but because of whose strength we stand in. And this means that you and I can take comfort when we get the doctor's report, knowing that regardless of the prognosis, it will never outweigh the promise because we're learning, trusting, and depending on the one who is a. This means that when the job hands you a pink slip, you won't fret because you already have access to the one who's able to supply every one of your needs according to his riches in glory. This means that when we run into obstacles greater than our accounts, our anointing, our associates and accolades, we've got a promise from an unfailing and an unending source. This means that those who once loved you turn and walk away from you, that we've got a friend who sticks closer than a brother. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege it is to carry something. Go ahead. Everything to God in prayer. There's not a friend like the lowly 
Jesus. Shake that good thing at your neighbor and say, no, not one. This means that when loved ones die and move on, that he becomes a mother to the motherless and a father to the fatherless because he's able to do just that. Let me remind somebody for the first time that God has already done what you can't do. And the reason he has it set up like that is that so that no one else will be qualified to get the glory once you've had an encounter with the able one. Somebody in the road tonight, I need to tell you that God is able to heal your body. He, for somebody else, he's able to deliver you. Do I have a half a witness? For someone else, he's able to set you free. For someone else, he's able to move in the miraculous, bless your life, restore your joy, reduce your problems, revive your soul, redeem you, replace objects, objections, object, objectives, and the others who have convinced you that life does not exist without them in it. He's able to renew your strength. He's able to inspire and Opportunity to benefit from God's ability simply because we don't obey. Yeah. And obeying God is the prerequisite for miracles. All right. <laughs> Obedience opens the door for God's ability to do what He says He can do. Faith is what leads you to obedience, and much of our doubts about God comes from misplaced trust in folk who claim to have a relationship with God. Leaning to your own understanding, saints, is a violation of trust in the one who gave you the ability to lean in the first place. And what you choose to trust in is whose ability you have to count on. Don't want to tithe? Then your testimony should be my money is a... to take care of you. And when troubled times come upon you, he'll show you that what you counted on when you stopped counting on him just wasn't able to help you as much as he could. Anybody ever trusted in a person because they said they were able? Maybe marry me, I'll be able to give you a good home. Take care of the kids. But after you did it, you found out he wasn't able. She said, if you marry me, buy me this four quarter carat or four carat diamond ring, I'll be able to supply all your needs at night. I'll be able to cook your favorite meals. I'll be able to dress like you want me to dress, look like, but after you did, you found out she wasn't able. The job said, if you stay here all these years, I'll give you benefits and a wonderful retirement package, but you ended up getting a peace slip journey and then you found out that job <laughs> just wasn't able people will have you convinced that they're able which is why many of us today still remain bitter hurt and disappointed people have told us that they're able to love us support us and care for us but soon but we soon found out that their abilities were connected to their attitude towards us. So as long as we made them happy, they were able. As long as we agreed with them, they were able. As long as we saw ourselves as being less than them, they were able. As long as we did everything they told us to do, they were able. But as soon as we made up our own mind, discovered our reach our own goals as soon as God puts strength in your system to the point where you 
that you can do without their handouts. They moved out of your life. Yeah. All right. God is able. Do I have a witness? Too often we find out who and what's not able after having invested so much time, talent, and trust into something that netted no return. Yeah. Politicians recently running for office said that if they got your vote, they'd be able lower your taxes, put you ahead of the game, reach the middle class, the poor and the underserved. But look at us now, on the cusp of a new year. And not only can some ends not meet, some of them can't even look at each other. But God is able. Isn't he able? He's able to assist you. He's able to anoint you. I'm done. He's able to assign you. He's able to address you. He's able to appoint you. He's able to apprehend you, and which is why we adore him, because God makes the impossible very possible. He makes the unteachable very teachable. He makes the intangible touchable all because he's able. Once you and I discover how able God is, something on the inside of us begins to brew. You develop a confidence and we're catapulted to a level that you cannot come down from. You begin to set unshakable standards for yourself because now you have tasted and seen that the Lord is good. So you no longer have to rely on the goodness of people. You no longer have to rely on the abilities of systems. You no longer have to rely on circumstances of other saints because through life you've discovered that through every challenge, through every trial, through every test, through every form of trouble that nobody is able. Like my God. So we shout, don't we? Because we know that he's able. All I need is two witnesses to shout with me before we enter this new year. That it got hard for some of us. And when we look down the corridor of the months that lay ahead of us before this year ended, we thought that it wouldn't be able. People who encountered and crossed our paths told us that God wasn't able because of the position they thought we would stay in. But aren't you glad? Let's report. 